So a long-standing question in the study of living things is how variability is generated in the behavior of organisms like ourselves. Um, so why does every individual behave differently from one another? Or why does the same individual behave differently at different times? So traditionally, the way in which people have addressed this question is to try to break the problem down into two independent parts, consisting of what one would call nature, our, our nature, essentially what we inherit from our parents, and our nurture, that is you know, basically how we grow up, the effects of the environment. So the nature part, nowadays, we would attribute to a DNA sequence. Uh, but in the last decade or so, what we've learned uh, through uh, the involvement of physicists in the study of living things is that there, in addition there's an additional source of variability that is entirely physical in nature. So the behavior of molecules inside cells can be highly variable or stochastic. Uh, they behave erratically in an unpredictable manner. Physically we understand this very well, uh, but how these physical fluctuations will affect living things is really not understood yet. So at the level of cells, we've confirmed that the behavior of cells can become very unpredictable because of molecular fluctuations. We would now like to know whether we can explain random behavior in the, enti in the level of an entire organism, um, whether that can be explained by these physical fluctuations. Um, so in this program, we're very excited to have identified a unique model system uh, in which we can address, address this from both an experimental and theoretical uh, approach. So um, this system is a very simple animal, a nematode worm. It consists of just a thousand cells, and it has what you could call a primitive brain, consisting of just 302 neurons. We are able to measure the activity of each of these neurons because the whole organism is transparent. We can also measure the fluctuations in key molecular processes, like how proteins are produced and how proteins are moving around in the cell. So by combining these measurements, and taking all the data, we think we can develop a new theory of how molecular fluctuations of physical origin can actually affect the behavior of an entire multicellular organism for the first time. So we're very excited that FOM has decided to invest in this effort, um, which is, uh, we think, a very exciting question.